Asia may now be the largest car market in the world, but that doesn't mean much attention is being paid to vehicle safety, especially in Southeast Asia. To try to improve car safety, an independent crash test laboratory has opened in Malaysia, and it's already made a significant impact. Kate Arnott reports. Crash tests like these are performed by independent laboratories across the world. Under the guidance of the Global New Car Assessment Program, vehicles are awarded a star rating to give consumers an indication of just how safe they are. If we look at the research, it really tells us that if everybody was driving a safe car, uh, road fatalities and serious injuries would drop substantially. Over the last 30 years, car safety has improved dramatically in the United States, Europe and Australia. But it's a different story in Southeast Asia, where there's been rapid economic growth and, as a result, a sudden increase in the number of cars on the road. At the same time, there hasn't been a lot of attention paid to improving car safety. In Malaysia alone last year, there were nearly 7,000 road deaths compared to 1,300 in Australia. You know, it, there's been talk of, a, of a, up to a 40% reduction in fatalities and serious injuries if we're, if we're all um, driving the safest vehicles on the road. Researchers point to poorly designed and maintained roads in the ASEAN region, disregard for road rules, as well as a lack of enforcement of those rules. One of the biggest problems, they say, though, is inadequate regulation for vehicle design, meaning manufacturers can sell cars with fewer or no safety features. Usually what the manufacturer do is to do a cost uh, localization or cost down saving and try to take away the steels, the airbags, the ABS, all safety aspects of everything and sell it as cheap as possible. In the end, um, there is no cop-out, really. Why would you sell something that, uh, that, is, that is not as safe as something else you make? Industry representatives acknowledge changing government regulations can be very difficult because of trade issues and the like, which is why the onus is now being put on manufacturers. To try to force them to sell safer cars in ASEAN countries, Malaysia's Institute of Road Safety Research has opened the region's first independent crash test laboratory in Malacca. Full testing will start next month, but it's already produced some encouraging results. During a demonstration at the opening of the lab, a Toyota Vios was crashed into a wall at 65 kilometres an hour. The reason why we're choosing Vios, Toyota Vios, is the highest selling car in ASEAN markets. And we have come to a conclusion that the car has a lot of variants in ASEAN countries. Some of them without airbags, some of them have frontal airbag, and some of them with and without ABS. And we don't want this to continue. Because this Vios was fitted with frontal airbags and an anti-lock braking system or ABS, it gained a four-star rating, meaning a moderate risk of serious injury to the chests of both the driver and passenger. But for Vios models sold in some parts of the region without airbags, the risk of death or serious injury dramatically increases. For its part, Toyota says it's now planning to equip all vehicles in the ASEAN region with improved safety features. All ASEAN countries will have at least a frontal airbag and no more non-airbag cars in the ASEAN country for Toyota. This has moved the biggest car manufacturer in the world. As word of the new crash test laboratory in Malaysia spreads, other manufacturers are also making their cars safer before November's testing begins to ensure a higher star rating. Researchers say manufacturers can no longer use cost as an excuse and more safety features can still be affordable for consumers in the region. It costs more money, it's not necessarily expensive. In terms of the total cost to the community, uh, it's much better to have a safer car. They are getting less and less expensive to install in cars. 
you would be looking at um, f full airbag systems, um, electronic, electronic stability control, um, ABS, uh, cruise control and the like. Um, I think that would be at, at least a minimum. Um, and then you can look at other things like advanced seat belt reminders. Actually in these countries I think you, you really do need some seat belt reminders because seat belt um, wearing rates are so low. As a road safety researcher at Monash University's campus in Kuala Lumpur, Dr Jennifer Oxley's job is to provide governments in the region with an evidence base so they can make informed decisions about road safety programs and initiatives. And she says changing the attitudes of motorists about safety issues is one of the key challenges. If we can get consumers um, much, much more well aware of uh, safety features and getting them to think about you know, protecting themselves in a the car, they're more likely to push uh, the, the uh, industry into selling safer cars. We know from some surveys undertaken in Malaysia and Indonesia recently that people are starting to look for safety when they buy a new car. Why would you buy a car that is likely to cause some injuries or, or even uh, death in a, in, a, in a collision when you can provide a safer product? 